The town is named after this pilot, Fethiye Bey, the first aviation martyr, born 1887, died 1914. He attempted to fly from Istanbul to Cairo for the first time and was killed when his plane crashed near Damascus. This town was previously called Megri or Medri, was renamed as Fethiye in honor of him. There is definitely nothing inexpensive about Fetia. All you have to do is take a look at the yachts and you would know instantly. You know, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Notice we've left the high rent district of the yachts and we're just at the small little dinghies. Maybe I should go in here and get some little Botox. There's an old castle up there, but I, I really don't think I'm going to walk up to it. Here's another Lycian sarcophagus right next to all the taxis. And it says it dates from the 4th century BC. Built from local limestone, it's the largest example of its kind. Its carved stonework imitates the construction of wooden buildings. We'll have to go around to the side. It said there are carved reliefs depicting scenes of war on the sides and on the long sloping facade of the sarcophagus. Similar war scenes are also discernible on the ridge beams on both sides. The banquet and the war scenes in the reliefs reflect the social status of the owner as a heroic warrior. And this particular area along the waterfront has statues of all the rulers around Turkey, the Ottoman area. But this particular one, El Parslan, from 1033 to 1072, our room where we stayed in Antalya was called the El Parslan Room. There's even a cute little fitness area along the water here. I really haven't shown you much of the way the people live. You can see at this end of Fethiye is a newer section, some beautiful houses going up there. He does not want to go.